So the Wake Up Machine video has been viewed around 80 million times. That's freaking mad. There is a chance that I am the person in the entire world that most people have seen getting slapped in the face with a rubber arm. Since I've gotten a lot of new subscribers, I thought it would be fun to do a video where I reply to some of your comments and to some of your questions and that we get to like hang out. You're a bunch of really cool people and I've enjoyed reading your comments a lot. Like not all of them, but most of them. So, I mean, oh gosh. And I have replied to all of the comments, just that most of my replies have been telepathically. Telepathic. That's about right. To spice things up a little bit, and since this is a YouTube channel about electronics, I have one of these. What this thing does is that it can send these electrical impulses to your muscles and make them contract. So I'm gonna put two of these electrodes in my face, and I have this microphone. So if I at any point turn quiet, it's gonna put on the power to the 10th 3000, and it's gonna make my face go, oh, like, ugh. So the setup is, I have an Arduino Uno, and it's reading the values off of this microphone. And if the audio level goes under a certain threshold, it switches this relay and turns on the power to the 10 3000 and zip. It's actually pretty cool because this is more or less the same circuit as I used in the wake-up machine. My mom was like, Simone, are you really sure about this? Aren't people going to think you're like into BDSM or something? And I'm like, no, mom, this is science. Okay, I'm just going to plug this in and start talking right now. Okay. Oh, shit! Ah! That was way more intense than I anticipated. Let's give this another go. John Doe writes, proof that you can use an Arduino when you don't fucking need one. So I've got a lot of comments on people saying that I didn't need an Arduino when I did the wake-up machine, and that is completely correct. I could just have wired the relay directly to the alarm clock. You're looking at a future Darwin Award nominee. But ow, oh, shit! Is Colin Furs your brother? For those of you who don't know, Colin Furs is like this crazy inventor. I kind of wish he was my brother. Maybe we will be friends. Oh my god! Oh, duh. Okay, I need a break. I will marry one of your clones. Contact me in the future. That is like some weird fetish right there. I, I don't even know. I just subscribe to your channel because your creations make me feel like I'm not a total loser with my grad projects. That's like a compliment in an insult. Oh, Adam Savage's tweet. I almost peed my pants a little bit when I saw this one. I mean, oh gosh, huge fan. Marry me from a ton of people. Out. I don't know. Oh. Ah, don't scrape your spoon with your teeth. What Scandinavian language is this? So I used to post a lot of videos in Swedish. I am Swedish for those of you who don't know. And there have been a lot of people asking me why I have an American accent. I used to watch a lot of Friends as a kid. And also I just pick up languages really easily. Actually last year I was living in San Francisco so I did speak a lot of English there obviously. I thought when I was living in the States that it would be a good thing that I had an American accent. But actually it just made me seem really stupid because people tended to assume that I was American and then I said something like, oh, you're from Michigan, how interesting. Where's that? And they were like, oh, sh ah. And also, I mean, there's a lot of like stuff I didn't learn in school. I thought that blue balling meant lying for the longest time. <laughs> Billion comments about that I should have attached a dildo instead. This is why you can't have nice things, internet. Somebody get this girl to show on Discovery Channel. Plus one on that one. Why were you in the US? I was working at a company that's called Punch Through, and they make an Arduino board that's called the Light Blue Bean. Now I'm gonna do questions for my Twitter. I'm actually pretty active on Twitter. I'm at Simone Yach. You've been getting a boost in Visibility, popularity with your serial video has it been a positive experience any creeps of course there are always creeps it's the internet uh, but mostly a very positive experience what's next for you in Sweden I just want to hang out with you and do fun stuff have you considered combining your alarm hand and robot feeder into a spinning feeder arm I haven't I wish I had because that's freaking genius what inspired you to lead your maker of awesome junk lifestyle I, I don't know I just don't like working with serious things ah! I can't do more of this I can kind of taste my teeth I was thinking since there were a lot of you who asked about houseboat stuff I would give you a little bit of a tour I'm currently not on my own boat I'm on my mom's boat but hers is pretty cool too and it's actually bigger than mine we should go and check out the machine room because that is probably the most awesome place on this entire ship. The machine room is obviously below deck, so we have to climb down this ladder to get down there. 
So let's go. How cool is this? It's, it's kind of funny because we don't really come from a boat family. I mean, my mom bought this boat eight years ago and I bought mine like three years ago. But before that, I had hardly been on a boat. What the heck is this? I don't even know. But now we both have skipper's degrees and I think we've got the situation under control. As always, I hope you liked this video. If you did, I suggest you press the like button or the dislike button. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, oh, talk to you later.